this lecture we are going to discuss about shock flow or uh, we can simply say that in supersonic flow when there is an obstruction then steep pressure waves will produce and these waves are also known as compression waves are called shock waves so here you can see that this metal or this uh, material gives an obstruction to the flow of lines where green line represent the flow of uh, lines or in subsonic flow, molecules get sufficient time to re readjust themselves. Uh, the subsonic flow means the velocity of flow is less than the acoustic velocity or V is less than A. In, in supersonic flow, the molecules cannot get sufficient time to readjust themselves, which means that if the uh, velocity of this flow is very high or the Mach number is uh, greater than one, then they cannot get sufficient time to adjust themselves in this obstruction. Or uh, in a flow, we are always try to uh, maintain in the equilibrium position. That's a initial like initial conditions. So if there is an increase in velocity here, you can see there will be an increase in velocity here. Here there will be production of shock waves. After the shock waves, there will be uh, sudden decrease in velocity or after the shock waves the flow will be subsonic here you can see m greater than 1 m less than 1 in sh uh, normal shock waves uh, the stagnation conditions are given as t is t01 is equal to t02 but t01 is the initial stagnation condition and t02 is the final stagnation condition or initial stagnation condition means that if here we know that the conditions are P1, P1, T1 and here after shock it is P2, P2, T2 and T01 means that when this fluid is brought to rest or they are uh, produced from a reservoir having pressure P0, uh, V0, T0 or uh, in the velocity we know that it is a zero velocity and this T0 and T0 is given as T01 or T01 is the initial stagnation temperature or here it is T0 and T02 is the final stagnation temperature that's how this, uh, this uh, P0, P2, V2, T2 is brought to a final, stack, final reservoir where it's given that T02, T02 and V02 and this condition is given as final stagnation conditions. In a normal shock waves, we are simply saying that uh, T01 is equal to T02 or the final and initial stagnation temperature are equal. Thank you.